What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, alrighty, so we're feeling a little heavier, probably because we got our 15th badge. Yeah, believe it or not, this right here, that's the Cinnabar Island Gym. Yeah, Volcano destroyed the crap out of, us, uh, of the gym, so Blaine decided to go right here. So, it is time to move on. Now, we could easily just fly back to Viridian City, but... You know, in order to go full circle, we're going to be going right here. We're going to be traveling back to Fuchsia City and to see if, yeah, you know, those guys are done, you know, cleaning up that mess that, you know, the volcano has uh, made. So we're going to be surfing right here. And, of course, we don't have a... Wait, do I? Do I? Do I or do I not? Hold on. I got I to gotta see if I have a repel. Hold on, guys. Hold on. No, I don't. Wow. Okay. All right. So we're going to be going to uh, repel this, and we're going to be battling a few people... You know, maybe a few Pokemon here and there, that kind of stuff. What is what an impressive or uh, an impressive collection of gym badges we should battle. That is true. I do have an impressive collection of gym battle or gym badges. Thing is, why would you want to battle a guy with 15 gym badges? You don't want that. You don't want none of this. Why? Why did you want this? I don't know. Let's go with that body slam attack. Body slam attack goes where? Right there. And goodbye. See? That's why I say you can't forfeit now because you'll lose. You'll lose anyways. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. So here we go. She's coming out with another star me. I'm going to stick with uh, Nessie right here. You know, the incredible Nessie. And uh, let's go with that body slam. Let's do that body slam right there. That's right. Body slam. Does its thing. Oh, wow. It does not beat him. And, uh, well, there's that rapid spin. And, uh, okay. Well, it does some damage to, uh, to Nessie right here. But, Body Slam will do the rest. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, Lori. What do you need now? No. Well, of course, no. You, you're going to say no because you lost. Surf is no longer the only HM move you can use in water. Yeah, think I got every single other HM right here, and wow, yeah, like I said, we're gonna be battling some Pokemon right now. Trust me, guys, the anticipation for the next gym battle can wait. Yes, I know, I know. Okay, let's take this out and uh, let's go ahead and talk to this young lady right here. And she's like, "I feel much lighter in water." Are you a fatty? Are you fat? Do you feel fat? I don't know. <laughs> So, let's go with Swimmer Nicole, and she's coming out with her Meryl. Okay. Alright. Meryl. See what you got. Meryl. Let's go with that. Body Slam. Of course, I know I'm not using Meryl. Alrighty. Alrighty. And there we go. Say goodbye to Meryl. Cinder. You are whoring off all my Pokemon's experience points. All right, let's switch it up right here. And uh, who haven't I used? Uh, I've used everybody, so let's go with Kid Thunder right here. Kid Thunder. All right. What is what is uh, Kid Thunder gonna do right here? You know what? We should use different moves, right? No, let's go with Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt. Yeah. Thunderbolt. Destroys you. Finishes you off. That's right. Oh yeah. And then what else? Oh, she's coming out with the lap press. I'm staying by. You know, I'm staying by right here. And, uh... Okay, let's go with that Thunderbolt again. Huh. Is it gonna go down? Are you gonna stay? No, you are not. You're gonna stay right there. Fainted. Everything. Get Thunder wins. That's right. Nicole's like... Oh, no! Everybody's saying no nowadays. What the heck is going on right here? Okay, what do you have to say? Swimming experience exercises your full body. It's really good for you. That is true. That is so true. Whatever. Ooh, we got... Wow, so many trainers right here. Let's go. <laughs> Just a little. Farther to Fuchsia. Okay. Apparently this guy has he hasn't gotten the memo that, you know, you know, swimming is good. So here we have Tucker, Tucker the fucker, ready to fight. He's coming out with his shelter. I come out with Nessie. Nessie does a thing right here where, you know, he body slams you. Sounds a, sounds fun. It really does. It sounds fun. And, uh, ooh, look at that. 
everybody's at, you know, experience points. And he's gonna come out with his cloister, so I should go back to Kid Thunder. Kid Thunder knows what to do right here. And, uh, this guy, you know, this guy right here looks evil. But this guy's gonna get beat right now, so let's go. Thunderbolt attack. Oh, yeah. Does he get it? Will he get it? Yeah, that's right. He got it. He got everything. Everybody, he got everything, okay? And, uh, well, there goes Swimmer, and he's like, I'm drowning. Dude, you should not be swimming. All right, let's see what your girlfriend has to say. I'm disgusted by wimpy people. Well, then why the hell are you hanging out with that guy? Seriously, why? Okay, here we go. Dawn wants the battle, and she's coming out with her Sea King. Now I'm going to raise the question up again. If it's a female Sea King, why can't it be called a Sea Queen? I'm just saying, you know, it would it would be it would be a good thing. I don't know. And uh, well, that Dragon Breath does some kind of damage right there. And uh, here we go again, Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath finishes off Sea Queen or Sea King. I don't know. And uh, that's more experience points for Cinder because you know what? He likes to whore off people's attack or experience points. She's like, I could beat you at swimming. No, not really. Not really at all. XA. It's a quick swim between Fuchsia and Seafoam Islands. Sheesh, some big man by my boyfriend is. What a wimp. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? She thinks you're a wimp. She thinks you're a wimp. That means she thinks you're a PP small. <laughs> Alright, let's move on right here. Okay. Have you ever gone to swimming in the in the sea at night? No, because there are tentacles, and tentacles are evil. Not really. Okay, so we have Harold right here. He doesn't have Kumar, and he's coming out with his Remoraid. Hmm, kind of looks like a bong right there for him. You know, Harold and Kumar in the movie, that kind of stuff. Body slam. Body slam for the win. Come on. Body slam. Oh, man, nearly grew to level 52 right there. Nexi, coming out with the Seedra. I'm gonna stick by right here with Nexi. Alright, let's do this. Let's get this. I still think Seedra should be a dragon type Pokemon. Still thinking that, you know. Not, Don't know if they changed that, you know. Not before his evolution stuff. And there it is, level 52. And uh, look at that, level 61. Yeah, warring off people's uh, experience points. And Harold's just, uh, he's like, glib, 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 glib. Glib. All right, let's move on. Oh wow, it is a quick. Wow, I, wow, that this should this was bigger. This was bigger back back then. You know, that yeah, it, it was. This was a big big place. Okay, moving on. Yes, this this was. Yeah, this. Wow, what the hell happened? They really took a lot of the space of Kanto. I'm just I'm just wondering. And of course, I'm going up against tentacles right here. I don't want to battle them. I am just going to run away right here. Do not want to battle you. And wow. Wow, it is a short drive. Okay, so swimming. I'm lousy at it, but I'm splashing around these uh, these shallow waters. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Okay, so here we go. Jerome wants to battle, and he comes out with his uh, Cedro. Okay, alright. We got a challenge right here. Alright, Nessie, you know what to do right here. Dragon Breath. That's right, perp. All over this woman's uh, face. Or this man's face. I don't know, whatever you are. And, uh. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go with Tentacruel. Alright, let's go with a little loving right here. Let's go with Relic. Let's, you know, let Relic splash around the water just a little bit. You know, have fun, you know, like a water puck. We, we hardly go out on vacation. So here we go, Psychic Attack. Oh yes, Psychic Attack does its thing. And there goes that Tentacool. Not happy, not very, very happy. And uh, everybody's, you know, like, of course gaining experience points. I'm gonna stick by right here with Relic. Do its thing, you know, that kind of thing. The experience thing. And uh, let's go with another Psychic Attack. Oh yes. Psychic attack does its thing. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see, what else do we have? Got one more Pokemon. Coming out with a Tentacruel. Okay. 
All right, Diddy Cruel. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? Psychic attack. Say goodbye to Tentacruel. Alrighty. And that's pretty much it, I guess. And, wow, look at that. Relic grows to level 57. And everybody else as well. And uh, Jerome's not a happy person right now. He's like, I thought I could win. No. No, you could not. Alright, here we are. And uh, Route 19, if you're city to Seafoam Islands. I should have just gotten onto the land right there and then. These damn Pokemon. Okay, all right, let's do this. We are not battling that guy because why should we? And here we are. We are back in Fuchsia City or what, whatever route we are in. And uh, would you look at that? They finally fixed the whole entire area. Wow, good job. The road work is finally finished. Now I can go fishing again. And this guy's like, I'm all sweaty. Time for a swim. That's a good good thing. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay, all right. Good good for you guys. Good for you. Good for you. And uh, talk to this guy. He's like, no Cinnabar, uh, citizens were injured by the eruption. That's great. Yeah, of course. We don't want to hear about anybody dying. And uh, here we are back in Future City now. Hmm. Yeah. Time to... It's, it's time to, to fly. That was pretty much uh, adventure number one right here. Now... It's time to go back to Viridian City. You know, that place. Okay. Alright, we're in Viridian City. And, you know what, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon because, you know, we have to. We got to. It's the proper thing to do when we're about to take on another gym leader right here. And, uh, well... That's right. All our Pokemon are healed. Fine-tuned and everything. Okay, now, if I was a betting man, which I am, Pretty sure Gary slash Blue is gonna come out with a, um, a flying type Pokemon. I could be wrong. I think it was in like Pokemon Yellow. Came out with the Fero. I wonder if he still has that Fero. I don't know. Okay, so let's move on to the gym right here. And I'm not talking to you because you kind of sound a little racist. And you talk to this guy. He's like, Are you going to battle the leader? Good luck to you. You'll need it. All right. You make him sound invincible. I did beat him like plenty of times, except for that one time. That one freaking time. And wow, look at this. Looks like Legos. Talking to this guy, he's like, yo, champ in the making. How's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is a guy who battled a champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you got. Dude, I beat him. I beat him before. Why does not anybody believe me? I don't know. Alright, so as you can see in the final gym battle right here, you're not going to be battling anybody. You're going to be fine. Just go up to this guy and, you know, you'll be on your merry way. So here it is, guys. Our next gym battle. And he's like, yo, finally got here. Huh? I wasn't in this uh, in a mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. Dot, dot, dot. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Huh. <laughs> Gy Johto gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're if you're good or not by battling you uh, right now. Ready, Johto champ? Dude, I am the champion of the world. Alrighty, so here it is, guys. Our final gym battle, and it's against Leader Blue, or Leader Gary, or Leader Asshole, as you probably already know him. Coming out with his Pidgeot. Oh, well, I was right about the flying-type Pokemon. Look at that. And he's coming out with a Kid Thunder right here. So, moving on to the screen... We are taking on Leader Blue right here now. If you guys remember, in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, or Red, Blue, and Green, you have three different options. Depending on your starter, depends on his team. He always, well, you know, he does have a Pidgeot, Alakazam, Rhydon, Executor, Gyarados, and then his own version of the starter Pokemon. Uh, the only change would have to be maybe, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who is his only change? Exec Executor, or Arcanine, or Gyarados. You know, either or. But in Pokemon Yellow, if you win, if you lose, that kind of stuff, it all depends on his starter. Now, if you guys remember, we did lose our first battle against him, beat him in the next one. His Pokemon evolved into a Vaporeon, so he did have a Sand Slash, Art Alakazam, Executor, Ninetales, Magneton, and Vaporeon. While is right here in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, he does have a Pidgeot level 56, Alakazam, Level 54, right on level 56, 
Gyarados at level 58, Executor at level 58, and an Arcanine at level 58. He has a mixture of different types of Pokemon, so don't don't just stick by with, you know, you know, just thinking that he, he's an elemental Pokemon trainer. So moving on to this screen right here, let's just destroy the crap out of these people. And wow, he does have a the first move, which is annoying. Here we go. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, does it win? Will it win? I don't know. My my kid Thunder's weaker. And he does. Right there. Just like that. Easily. Kid Thunder just kicks some butt. So easily. Look at that. You have to go elemental, guys. Really, you have to go elemental. If you if you are not trained up to, to, to beat this guy, I would just use uh, any kind of attacks that would that his Pokemon are weak against. And here he comes out with a right on. Level 56. Hmm. Seems his Pokemon are a little stronger than mine. It would seem. But no worries. My Pokemon, they're well equipped. They are well equipped against these guys. And this guy right here. Experience point or exp uh, HP just going all the way down. All the way down. As you can see, it's a, it's a victory for us. And here he comes out with an Alakazam. I got the Pokemon just for his you know what. I'm going to go with Relic. I could have gone with Deddy, but I kind of want to go with Relic. Probably because I like saying Relic in that way. Relic. And we got the move for you. Shadow Ball for the win. Yeah, this guy, he, he's hes acting cocky. Super cocky. Alakazam defeated. Relic the winner. And uh, Cinder, you know, whoring off experience points. And he's going to come out with his Gerda, so I'm going to go straight to Teddy because, you know what? Let's have everybody battle everybody. You know, a fight to the death right here. That's right. Fight to the death. All right, Teddy. You know what to do right here. Return. And, uh, you know, this could be a big mistake he's made. I'm just saying, big mistake. Here we go with that return attack. And will that return attack do us good? Will it? Will it? Come on. Oh, come on. All right, let's go with that return attack again. He's coming out with Hydro Pump now. This could be bad because Gyarados is at level 58. Hydro Pump is a very strong move, and there's a Rain Dance. So it takes a huge chunk out of our HP, so we got one more move right here. And that move works. Look at that. Critical hit. Easy. Easy. Too easy. Bring on some bring on some challenge right here. Now he's coming out with an executor. I'm gonna go straight to Toxa Batman because I don't know. Toxa Batman needs some loving too. He probably does. I don't know. Probably does need that, that loving, okay? It continues to rain. So I'm gonna just go fly. Fly like the eagle that I am. And that egg bomb misses. So here we go. Fly attack. Hopefully it does win. Come on. Finish him off. No more executor. And wow, it survived right there. And here comes that egg bomb. Look at that. Sneak it up on me. No. No. And holy crud. Took a nice experience points right there. and uh, Or not experience points, but HP. I got those two mixed up. I'm sorry, guys. And uh, the rain has stopped. There's that full restore that, you know, Gary likes to use every single time so he, he likes to screw us over. And here we go. Fly attack. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There goes Executor right there. And here we go again with another full restore. Just accept losing, Gary. Accept it. Accept losing to me multiple times. You will always have that one victory towards us, but not these ones. Every single time I will beat you. Beat you with an inch of your life. And, uh, wow. This guy is just, you know, he's doing everything just to take, wow, take a lot of HP from us. And that egg bog misses. So here we go with that fly attack. Does that fly attack win? Come on. Finish him off. And it does. Bye bye Executor. Bye bye Alrighty. Okay. What do we got? Coming out with an Arcanine right here. So we got the one more Pokemon. And did I use Cinder? No, I didn't. Let's go. Fire versus fire. I'm going to keep on going with that. And yes, Arcanine looks like he's going to be faster than my Pokemon. But, you know, I think I can beat him. I think I can take him. You know, dig attack. And there's that extreme speed right there. Pretty strong. But I'm going to dig. Dig, dig, dig. 
you won't you won't hit me right here and here's that dig attack again same move same attack same same turn I guess and uh, wow really he's gonna use a roar oh big mistake big mistake buddy it's over it's over and uh, oh wow flamethrower okay it's somewhat strong is it kind of strong Okay, it's kind of strong, because Nessie is also a nice type Pokemon right here. And there we go. Surf attack. Will it finish him off? It does. Eat it. Eat it, Gary. Eat it. That's right. Eat it. And as you can see, Gary has been defeated. He's like, what? How the heck did I lose to you? I'm better than you, bro. <laughs> okay. Take this here. It's an Earth Badge. You hate me. And there we go, guys. 16 badges. Very easy. He's like, all right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You're a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Okay. Listen, you. You better not lose until I beat you. Got it? Uh, you know, I haven't lost quite some time so I'm flipping you off man I'm flipping you off I've missed that I flipped him off and if you talk to this guy man you are truly tough that was a heck of an inspirational battle it brought tears to my eyes all right okay good stuff good stuff alrighty okay let's fly back to Palatown because we don't want to deal with any uh, Pokemon right here so let's fly straight to Palatown alrighty feeling good I'm feeling great aren't you guys feeling great you can go to Daisy and just tell her, hey, I beat your brother in a Pokemon battle. If that makes you feel any better. Probably will. She hates him. She really does hate him. So after defeating all 16 gym leaders, you can come back here to Professor Oak and talk to him. He's like, wow, that's excellent. You collected all, or you collected the gym badges in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, tell you what, Draven. I'll make arrangements so you can now go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is the big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average Pokemon trainer, so it's off limits. But we can uh, we can make an exception in your case, Draven. Go up to the Indigo Plateau, and you can reach Mount Silver from here. And uh, yes, how's my Pokemon, my Pokedex going? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, whatever. Stop judging me, Professor Elk. Stop. Alrighty, so we are we we now have access to Mount Silver. Now, before we head to Mount Silver, we got a few things that we need to do on the side back in Johto. You know, a few caves here and there, maybe a few legendary Pokemon. Whatever it tickles my pickle, you know, that kind of stuff. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be doing some side quests before we finish off this whole thing right here. See you guys.